suggest a break and a chance to recharge. Now that we have kids, I often tell my husband that we don't go on vacations, we go on trips. Even though it may be exhausting taking kids places, it is so worth it. It is amazing to see the kids' eyes light up when we go on these trips, even if it's just a Grammy and Papa's house. To our kids, these are not trips or vacations, yet they are adventures to explore the world. And we need to take the time to see it through our kids' eyes. Enjoy the journey, not just the destination. Enjoy the experience as our kids do, and make those memories. Try new things, and get out there and explore. Even if you're doing a staycation, there are plenty of things to explore at home. Here is a fun book about going on vacation and embracing new and different things. It reminds us of the joy of exploring while at the same time make us appreciate home too. And what goes great with a good book? Well, stay tuned for some crafts, activities, and snack time to keep those kids busy this summer. But first, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can know about all the fun activities coming up. And if there's a book or a topic that you'd like a video on, put it in the comment section below. Also, leave a comment if you're looking for play date ideas, birthday party themes, or homeschooling ideas. We love to see your kids' creations, so check out our Facebook page and post your pictures there. We all love the Penguin books in this house, and this one is no exception. Penguin on Vacation is very cute. It's about a penguin who wants to go on vacation somewhere different. When what could be more different than the Antarctic? How about a beach? But Penguin has never seen sand and doesn't know what to do on the beach until he meets a crab who befriends him and shows him all the fun things to do at the beach. And then, crab in return, visit Penguin in the Antarctic. It's a great tale about friendship, trying new things, and going on an adventure. It's craft time and your kids are just going to love these adorable penguin and crab duo here. Uh, you can find a list of all the supplies at storytimecraft.com or here they are. And then we are going to start, we're going to be actually making two of each of them today because I'm making one and my son is making one also. You're going to need two strips for the penguin and two, one strip of red for the crab and then we're going to glue them into rings and I like to do this first. I found that if, with kids especially instead of holding it you can use some clothespins and that helps hold things until they dry because sometimes kids don't have the patience for that. So clothespins are my new number one thing I like to use. Once you have two of the black circles go ahead and glue them together and this is going to make our penguin's body. Then we're going to draw a U-shape onto white paper and cut it out, and that's going to be our penguin's belly, and we're going to glue that to the front of our penguin. And then we're going to find some orange paper, and we're going to cut out some orange feet for our penguin, and then we'll glue them to the bottom of our penguin. I like to make them pretty big, that way it helps the penguin to stand up straight also. have your feet glued onto the penguin then you can start with the penguin's face. You're going to start by cutting a diamond shape and fold it in half to make a beak and then I like to add wiggly eyes for the penguin's eyes. Gives them a little fun character. When you get the penguin's face looking like you would wish I would lay it flat to dry for a little while and we could start working on our crab. We'll take the ring that we've made already and it should be nice and dry by now. We're gonna find four red pipe cleaners and twist them in the middle and then spread them out to be the crab's legs. And then we are simply just gonna glue them inside the middle of our ring. And to help it stick a little bit better, you might wanna cut a little red square of paper and then add a little more glue on top of those pipe cleaners and to cover it up and then kind of sandwiches those pipe cleaners in there to make it nice and sturdy. If you want, you can also use that clothespin idea I talked about before to hold it while it dries. And now it's the best part. We get to glue on the eyes and draw a face so we can see all the fun that they are having on their vacation. And your kids are just going to love these guys. They check my kids out. Oh, hi. Hi, my name is 
crab. What's your name? My name's Penguin. I'm on vacation. Cool! Da da da! And let's play. Wanna see how you can play crab hop? kids just love this activity. I hope your kids do also. It's very easy. Start by filling a muffin tin halfway up with water and letting it freeze. And I'm going to add these cute little penguin toys on top of them and finish filling up the trays with water and then freeze them until they're totally done. And then have a little bin for your kiddos. Put in some water and add some blue food coloring. Let them add in some ice cubes and then we're going to add in our icebergs with our penguins on them also. Let the kids stir and have fun with those. You can have fun retelling the story and using different utensils to work on fine motor skills. Does it look like penguin going on vacation? Yeah. Yeah. Where do you think penguins going to go? Uh, my book is kind of an uh, ocean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's multiple tools that you can let your kids use to help them express their fine motor skills using tongs to pick up the ice, using spoons to stir, checking out the cause and effects of what happens with using eyedroppers or straws in the water. Hey, watch how big I can make up a bubble. Is that big? <laughs> Was that big? Yeah, it's so big. These are kind of control, hard to control. Uh, mommy, look! Yeah. Oh, that one's free. Which one's free? This one. That one. It's not connected to an iceberg anymore. Cool. That works too. Look in the description for a link below to storytimecraft.com for a list of, of the full ingredients you'll need for this snack. You can see them all here if you're watching quickly. This is a very easy snack to make. We're going to start with our Oreo first. That way it dries completely before we stand it up straight on our beach here. We're going to use the frosting to glue on some candy eyes and then we're going to use the frosting also to glue on a tic tac for the beak of our penguin. And then we're going to lay it flat so it dries properly. Now we're going to add some blue food coloring to some white frosting so that we can make it blue and stir it up completely. And then we're going to cover our graham crackers two-thirds of the way with the blue ocean. And what does our ocean need? Why, some fish. I like to use the cupcake goldfish for this part, and I added three of them to my ocean. You can have them swimming in all directions. Now it's time to add our penguin to the beach, so let's start with some of the frosting that we're going to use to stick down our pretzel, and then we're going to add a little bit more frosting to our pretzel so that we can stick our penguin standing straight up on his feet. And you might have to hold them for a little while for it to stay because they sometimes fall down, but they will stay eventually. Now let's add our penguin's friend, the crab. We're going to once again use the frosting to stick on some pull and peel strips that cut to about a little over an inch big. You're going to need about six of them, three on each side, and then add some more frosting to add in the lifesaver for our crab's body, and then add in the eyeballs with the frosting also, and then you are ready to enjoy your snack. Forget to post pictures of of your apps, and don't forget it to subscribe on all our channels.